S, Kalida, finally, we're getting started. Yeah, sorry about that, but uh, we are good to go. Thank you, thank you. All right. So yes, like I was saying, uh, Marketing Magic book, I'm so excited to finally launch this book today. There's so many things behind the scenes that we've been doing uh, to prepare for this event and to prepare for the actual launch of the book which by the way it is available on amazon so you guys need to get a copy for yourself uh as well as we are going to have another uh webinar tomorrow that's going to be actually very deep dive into um the book the lessons manuel is going to go over in detail give you guys kind of even extra behind the scenes um stories that he didn't uh, get a chance to include in the book anyways it's going to be awesome definitely don't you know make sure you don't miss that one tomorrow uh let's see i got some of you guys on here Oh, El Paso, Gabriel. That's awesome. I'm also from uh, Texas, but I'm from uh, South Texas. I don't know if I knew if I know you, Gabriel. You might be somebody I know, but I'm from Eagle Pass, Texas. London. That's so awesome. Thank you so much for what is it? Uh, I, I was gonna say staying up, right? You guys are uh, about what eight hours ahead of us, something like that. In Germany too. Okay, great. Mexico City. Thank you. That's right. We got uh, Fernando it says proud day and historic for this family. Man, this is something that Manuel has been uh, pouring a lot of blood, sweat and tears into, as well as uh, the rest of us, the team helping him make sure that this launch um, is going to be epic. If you guys don't know, which I'm sure you know by now, but we are going to have Mr. Les Brown, Mr. Greatness himself. He's going to be giving us a, you know, a keynote basically on uh, what he believes to be the best marketing or the best marketing book he's all about it he wants to help us spread the message and uh, which is why he came today to help out with this I actually been hanging out with him for the last couple of days and man the guy, the guy is something special they don't call him mr greatness for nothing uh, so you're gonna get to hear him speak uh here in a little bit let's see it is 6.30, so we're supposed to be kicking this off at 6.45, by the way, because I know I saw some uh, some comments in there as far as, you know, yeah, we're starting at 6, we started this at 6, right, to kind of gather everybody in here, but the, uh, the time that we're actually going to have the kickoff with uh, Mr. Les Brown, Manuel, get on the stage and speak, it's going to be 6.45, okay? So not that far from now. Stick around for sure. Got some people from Utah, from SoCal. All right, Cancun. Okay, Diana. Uh, Texas. I saw somebody else say something else from Texas. New Bronzefields. Uh, New, Bron New Bronzefields. Okay, cool, man. That's awesome. Oh, Del Rio? Oh, wow, Richard. Okay. I don't know if you heard right now. I was just saying I was, I'm from Eagle Pass. So um, right next to you. We're neighbors, man. Actually, I've been over here for 30 years now, so I don't know. I'm more from over here than over there now. <laughs> okay, uh, Melbourne in the house and another Eagle Pass, Fernando. Awesome, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions uh, about the event, any questions about the book. I can definitely help out answer anything there. Harlingen, man, we have so many people from South Texas. That's awesome. Let's see. That's awesome, guys. Venezuela, London. Okay. If you have any questions about this, um, oh, is the book going to be on Audible? Yes, it is, Stan. Uh, we are uh, finishing recording the audio version. That's going to be available very, very soon, which is actually going to be even better, by the way. If you're somebody like me that likes to listen to audiobooks instead of read them, uh, although this one I've read already cover to cover is such an easy read. Uh, such great information and, and it's so packed with stories that you just keep on reading keep on reading I mean I finished it in two days by the way and that's not like all day just at night when I got home from work right but you can't put it down as that kind of book uh, but back to the audio yes we will have that and Manuel is also going to include some extra stories and some extra audio in there almost kind of like a podcast as well so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be really cool available very soon as soon as that's done we'll put it up you know available everywhere amazon and all that uh, or come tomorrow to the webinar if you want to find out maybe how you can get a hold of it yourself before everybody else can all right 
So check it out, guys. I'm gonna go outside. Uh, I want to show you the party, the band. I want to show you the people. Maybe we'll talk to a few of them here, and um, you know, just kind of see where, 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 uh, where they're at and whatnot. Uh, so give me a little bit here while I go outside, and I'll be right back with you. Okay. All right, guys, so let's take a look around. Obviously, you can see we have some really cool entertainment here with the band. These guys are awesome. And hopefully you can hear me okay because I got these guys right next to me, right? Let me show you uh, people coming in. Let's see. So here we got some people coming in here. We got the, uh, the backdrop so you can take some cool selfies. Wish you guys were here with us. You know, these were sent over by uh, our partner, Tom Cummins. These are beautiful as well. But you can see everybody here is having a good time. Everybody here is ready for the Marketing Magic book. I don't know, let's go talk to some people and see maybe how they found out about Manuel, what they think of uh, the party and whatnot. Follow me. Let's talk to Mr. Tony real quick right here. Tony, yeah, man. you're on uh, with everybody on uh, the online streaming. Oh, we're live? Yeah, that's right. We're live, baby. Fantastic. Hey, I just want to ask you really quick, what do you think about the party so far? Mate, this party's going off. There is, uh, there's some shakers and movers in this room. There's a lot of power and there's a lot of interest in relation to boom and things. And it's great to be here. Me and Tony were just chatting with uh, Mr. Les Brown for a little bit, right? Yeah. What'd you get out of him? What, what, what's something that uh, he told you that uh, stood out for you? You know, a couple of things. One thing that really was interesting, we are talking about having a mentor and the importance of having a mentor. And he said, you need to stand by giants. And, you know, I look at my life and the points that I've been successful in. It's when I teamed up with someone who gave me something to chase or gave me some, a bigger game to play. And that's really the one thing I took away. So much, so many takeaways. But that one takeaway was absolutely gold. That's right. Hey, what I can you get? I can attest to that giant thing because I've been working with Manuel for seven years now, yeah. and he's done nothing but elevate his team. Yeah. You know, somebody like me, I, I didn't even want. I didn't like talking to cameras. I didn't like speaking or doing webinars. Yeah. But being around Manuel, he's just like, you do it. You, it's your turn, right? He yeah. he's always been pushing. And uh, so, standing by giants, I love that. Stand by giants. Anyway, it's been an epic night. Epic that's, night. That's right. Good All right, thank you so much, man. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy the party. All right, let's go see who else we can uh, we can talk to here. All right. Let's, let's go that way. Go ahead. All right, over here, you're gonna see that we have. Uh, the VIP section, right? That's where uh, Mr. Les Brown's hanging out, as well as Manuel. We got other people like Rudy Mauer and a whole bunch of other people hanging out in there and, and chatting. I was just in there myself. Trust me, that's an awesome room to be in. Excuse me. You want to show them this? You want, you want to show them inside? Woo, look at that. There's, there's uh, Les. There's the man of the hour. This guy right here, you don't want to mess with, man. <laughs> How's it going, dude? 
He's going pretty good. All he's right. Getting packed now. He's getting packed, right? He he's got uh, his awareness going on. Hey, you used to work with us, right? I did. What did so? What do you think about the party so far, man? It's good. It's packed. It's that's bonus. Awesome. Awesome. Let's. All right. Let's go. Dude. Let's talk to Yvonne for a second. Say hi to everybody online. This is the online stream. Oh, hi guys. Welcome. So Yvonne actually works with Manuel as well, right? What do you do with Manuel? Uh, I help manage the Natural Slim company. That's right. Manuel's uh, brand and Gabby's, of course. Uh, so Yvonne, first of all, anything that uh, you want to say that you've learned from Manuel as far as marketing goes and how are you liking the party? Oh, I love the party. I love the setup. Uh, and as far as the marketing magic, uh, we've learned just about everything from Manuel. I am the one who begs him to stop the marketing because he just brings on way more leads that we can handle, uh, which is the best problem any business can have. So we are truly uh, blessed and honored to have him run our marketing. You've had some marketing magic sprinkled on you, right? Yes, sometimes more than we can handle. <laughs> there you go. That's what marketing magic is all about. More calls, more leads than they can handle. All right, let's keep going this way. Are you doing an interview? Oh, hey. Yes, I am. How are you, sir? Good, good. Good, good, to, see you. good to see you too. Hey, going? we're talking with everybody online in the online stream. All right. So you want to tell them their name and maybe something that you learned from Manuel as far as marketing. Oh, my God. I don't know if I have enough time to mention all that, but my name is Eli Gonzalez. I'm a ghostwriter, and that's one of the main reasons I'm here. Uh, Manuel's knowledge is now out to anybody in this book. I can't wait to get it. Can't wait to continue to learn from it. I'm also the president of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce here in Pinellas County, where we're lucky to have you guys here, and we're good friends. Uh, and I'm just here for support, and I'm very proud of Manuel. Uh, I can't wait, like I said, to read the book. And if you want to be successful in business, you got to know people like Manuel and Jorge and learn what they do here. Love it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Gabby. We're going that way? Okay. We just had to like not block, not block here. It's okay. Let me, uh, let me introduce you guys to Gabby, my sister. This is Manuel's wife, in case you guys don't know. And um, you're talking to everybody on the stream, by the way. Hi, you're guys. live. Hi, guys. Thank you for being present on the stream. We really appreciate the support. It's been an amazing turnout here in the office, but you guys are just as important to us. We've been planning for it. We've been hoping to make it really special and inclusive for you. So hopefully you enjoy it. Les is about to come on. So is Manuel. So thank you so much for being here supporting us and anything we can do for you guys, you can count on it. And Gabby, uh, you've been hanging out with uh, Les for a couple of days now. What's the main takeaway? What's something really special that he's said to you, taught you, that you want to share with them? Thank you. Yeah, he's a super special guy. Um, I think that one of the things that I love about De Les is that he's very sincere and he's very consistent and he's very consistent with his message. He has a special touch. He can make people really feel special and I really like that about him because he's so he's so himself but he's also very sincere so we appreciate that very much we love working with people like that and so we're really looking forward to everything we're gonna do together yeah he's very genuine yeah. and and like you were saying uh, he's very good and it makes our job a lot easier to work with people like that too so you know what's interesting? He says everybody should be a speaker. Anybody that he meets, he says, I can make you into a great speaker because we live in a society that is all about distraction. So you have to learn to be able to make your message really stand out in this economy. So for him, his, his purpose is to make people into great speakers that know how to deliver their message and, and thus their service and their product because they really know how to communicate. So he's a great resource for all of our clients, for all of the people that like to follow us and, and just kind of like learn from our content. So I think that you guys are in for a treat. Uh, he's up next. And also you guys should follow him on Instagram. 
That's right. Follow him. Follow us too. The AGM Agency and Mr. Manuel Suarez and the Green Man, right? What's what's your what's your handle? You, they should follow us at uh, Natural Slim US in, at Instagram. That's right. All right. Cool. All right. Let's. Okay, guys. So we're actually going to get started in the next couple of minutes here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you now uh, while we get uh, less, you know, up into the stage. But thank you so much for for being here. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. And I'll see you after they're done. I'll be back. Okay.
Okay, let me see. Am I on? Can you hear me well? Yeah. Okay. Is the volume good? Yeah, it looks like it. Everybody, attention, you are here tonight to do something very special. I want to get attention from you. Everybody in the back, get attention. Attention, everybody. Attention. This is attention grabbing media. And attention is a requirement in this building. All right, it's a requirement. All right, thank you guys. When you opted in to come over here, there was fine print that said, you're gonna put your phones down, you're gonna pay attention, you're gonna stop chit-chatting. There's a lot of people out there that are so entertained networking, but we gotta get their attention. So my crew, help me get the attention of everybody because we're not going to uh, disrespect a legend that we have in the house today. All right? Okay, it's a little bit echo-ish. Are we good? Got to wait for that. All right. Okay, good. So we got a lot of people on the stream. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in with us today. This is a moment that we've been working on for a very long time. Uh, sometimes you walk in here and you see the group and you see the party and you see the activity and you feel well that's pretty cool but you don't get to understand how much work it was to put this event together and to have you here and not only that to put together the product that we're going to talk to you about tonight and to put together this legend that we brought to you tonight which is an incredible honor to have here in the house we're gonna make sure this thing is connected yep we are connected very good. So again, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for celebrating this special moment. It is a first day night. I understand that you could be many different places, but you're here with me and I appreciate your time, your support, your dedication. Every single moment that you're here with me, I don't take you for granted. And I am grateful for every single one of you. People in this room right here are friends, are family, are people that have been in our lives and our lives for a long time and that have seen my journey. You understand what we've been through, where we are at, and not only that, where we're going. And I want to thank you for your support in this very, very special day. Now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to give a, a big round of applause to the people that put together this event. Uh, my wife coordinating this uh, entire event with a lot of great people. Carly. E even myself today, if any of you have been in this office before, I walked in today and I was like, did the GPS take me to the wrong address? <laughs> Whoa, this place is special tonight. A lot of energy, beautiful energy, a lot of excitement uh, in this room right here. And again, a lot of work to, to make this event happen with you tonight. And I wanna thank everybody that made this a reality. Now, without further ado, I wanna introduce somebody to the stage, somebody that I consider to be the greatest speakers this world has ever seen. Not only I consider that, ChatGPT also agrees. <laughs> Anybody saw my post or my email on ChatGPT? Raise your hand if you did that. So out of curiosity, I was talking to this man, and I'm like, I wonder if ChatGPT agrees with me. It did not agree with me though. I think he's the number one speaker, motivational speaker in this world that has reached over 2 billion people. Think about that. 25% of the world's population has somehow seen this individual's message. Take into account the fact that half of that population doesn't even have access to the internet and you understand the power of what this person is. I think he's the number one in this world. ChatGPT considers him the number two in this world. So I'm going to help him with that. When you think about the, the, what that really means, all jokes aside, I told Les today, Les, there's eight billion people on this planet. This artificial intelligence tool that knows it all, thinks you're number two. 
in the entire world out of 8 billion people. That's what you're going to witness today. Liz and I connected not too long ago. And I'll tell you a quick little story very fast about it. I was in Europe, and I was uh, hanging out with some very special people over there. Somebody in the house over here, Tony, was with me. And I get a special message from one of my guys over here, Ernesto, that says, Les Brown just called you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Les Brown is a legend. He's not going to just pick up the phone and call me. And he's like, well, here's the voice message. And I listen to the voice message, and Ernesto answers the call, and he's like, uh, attention Grammy Media, uh, good afternoon, how can I help you? And he's like, uh, I'd like to speak to Manuel Suarez. And he's like, um, sorry, but he doesn't take any calls. <laughs> as giant as Les Brown is, he's the humblest person I've ever met in my life. His response was, all right, why don't you tell him that Les Brown called him? So when Ernesto tells me that, I said, you're lying. And he's like, here's the voice message. And I'm like, that has to be AI. <laughs> but as I heard it over and over again, I said, it, it is him. I pick up the phone and I call him. He answers the phone. And he's like, I'm in the presence of greatness. <laughs> and I knew it was him. And we just immediately clicked. And um, he uh, wanted to be a part of this promotion. He wanted to help me put this book out there. And I have a mission to help him now spread his legacy even farther. And now I want to play a quick little video to tell you a little bit about the power for the people that don't know who this individual is that I brought here today to the house. I'm going to restart it again. Ready? Green light, Jimmy? We're checking on it, bro. Don't worry. It's a live event. It happens, right? Just to be clear, I did ask them to test it before we had the event, all right? Okay? So somebody, somebody's afraid for their, uh, their work, but that's okay. We understand that things happen. Hit the next one on the clicker All right. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. You have something special. You have greatness within you. You have talents, abilities, and skills that you don't even know that you have. You were not born to work for a living, but to live your making. Greatness is not your destiny. It's a choice that you must make. This man right here is a gift given to this planet by God himself. I was born in a poor section of Miami, Florida called Liberty City. I was born in an abandoned building on a floor with a twin brother. When we were six weeks of age, we were adopted. When I was in fifth grade, I was identified as EMR, labeled, educable, mentally retarded, put back from the fifth grade into the fourth grade, and stayed in that category until I got out of high school. I don't have any college training. The easiest thing I've ever done was to earn a million dollars. The most difficult thing I've ever done was to believe it could happened to me. I used to be a state legislator. I passed 14 pieces of legislation. All of these is a result of the vision, the mindset transformation that took place within me. See, most people don't keep their commitments to their commitments. That's why they lead lives of poverty, lives of misery, lives of unhappiness. Socrates said the uncommitted life isn't worth living. I'm saying to you, your dream is possible. Most people never achieve their goals because they allow themselves to be sidetracked by secondary activities, the distractions of life. You should be so focused, so busy on your own life, keeping the main thing the main thing until you are oblivious as to what's going on around you. Horace Mann said we should be ashamed to die until we've made some major contribution to humankind. If you die today, what dreams, what ideas, what gifts will die with you? My mother used to say, live a life that will outlive you. Your father, because of you, his legacy will never die. Because of you, the impact that you make with people today and those people who they impact 
and those people who they impact. His legacy and your legacy will always be here with us. You were born for this. As much as you have chosen this, you were chosen for this work. You're doing the greater work and your father's proud of you. You are living the life and going into the future that he could not live. This book that you have written, it allows people to reflect, to think, I'm going to endorse your book because that book, everybody needs it. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there is no path and leave a trail. Ladies and gentlemen, there are legends in this world, and then there is Les Brown. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, my brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am, I'm so very honored. I'm, I'm having a hot flash right now. When, when, when men, we have hot flashes, we call them power surges. <laughs> but this is what happens when you turn 78, I'm telling you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to see all of you here for this launch of this book. We're living in some very different times. Would you agree? Yes. Very, very disruptive times. Would you agree? And people are looking for ways in which they can control their own destiny. Would you agree to that? And so when we begin to think about this book, that there's, we know that there's a philosophical question, is that if a tree falls in a forest and no one hears it, did it make a sound? And so the answer is no. What we have here with marketing magic and what is called the distraction economy, what we have now Nicole, is a book that gives everyday people the opportunity to have the key to how they can begin to amplify their voice, their knowledge, their skills, to call attention to their business, and help them to control their own personal economy. Do you feel that that's necessary now? Yes. And so when you think about when they said that millions of people can work from home and the prediction was that only 15% would say, I don't want to come back. But over 35% said, I don't want to go back. And, and the reason they said that, that they wanted to control their own destiny. And so now, what we're doing is putting in the hands of individuals who are hungry. Let us say you got to be hungry. You got to be hungry. Yes, because when I think about how where we are right now, this era of what the late Peter Drucker called the era of the three C's, accelerated change, overwhelming complexity, and tremendous competition, that we now have the opportunity with this book and the contents of this book, but plus, more importantly, the man that gave birth to the young man that wrote this book. And when you think about Mr. Frank Suarez, and I say Mr. Frank Suarez out of respect and honor. And we're standing in his legacy. They say he was a short man, but dynamite comes in small packages. <laughs> he was an explosive guy who had a simple, practical way of teaching and helping people to begin to live their lives in a different kind of way. And as he began to grow his business as a result of the initiative that his son took to let people know about his father and the work that he was doing in transforming people's lives, he said, he called him one day and said, you got to do something. People ask me, what are we are going to do? How do we do what you've done? 
And so we know that adversity is pregnant with opportunity. There's a Chinese language word that crisis means danger, but it also means opportunity. And so now people have the opportunity to take their ideas, to take their knowledge, to build a community of greatness, and to be able to take charge of their future. And this is what Mr. Frank Suarez was about. And his children bought into that, and his grand grandchildren. And so we gather here in this dream, in this legacy, with this book, and spreading the word, and using for us things that we can learn here. You have something special, and I say to you that the reason that you're attracted to Manuel and Gabby is because what's in them is also in you. Like attracts like. We are branches of the same tree. And this is a family legacy in a time where people are turning against each other, when there are so many people that are being divisive. This is a book and a movement that we're a part of that will help people to turn to each other and begin to move forward to a future that we can create a better life for our children and our children's children. This is what we're doing here today. It's, this is not just about launching a book, but birthing a movement that's needed now more than ever before. And so i like to say to you, spread the word, use the content to do the things that you want to do to make your, become, your dream become reality. But something that my adopted mother said to me when I was always speaking and there was something that she loved. And she said, Leslie, say that thing for me, boy, that I love. And I dedicate this to you. When you get this book, you spread the word, you apply the principles in here that came, I feel, as a download to Manuel and Gabby. That if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your tea, give up your dream and fears for it, that the things that you've been dreaming about and thinking about and you want to do with your life, that fight for it. Life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. This is a time to take a stand for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. You have something special. You have greatness in you. You are a masterpiece because you're a piece of the master. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Bye for now. All right, I think we should give it another massive, big round of applause to Mr. Les Brown. When I told Les today about the ChatGPT being number two, and I said to him, Les, isn't it something special if you just smell the roses? Just stop and smell the roses. What you've accomplished in a career of 52 years, the fact that you are at the top of this game, and he's like, I'm not done yet. I gotta help people like you get to the top of this list too. Once I do that, then I can tell you, yes, I'll stop and smell the roses. Right? So now he's made it his mission to help other people travel in a similar path and a similar journey. And a lot of people are going to do a lot of great things because of his message. So anyways, great night. Thank you for being here. We're going to hang out for the next half hour or so. Les and I are going to jump into that studio right now and talk to the people on the stream for a few minutes. I want you guys to just hang around. Uh, we, I have a special surprise for you. Shortly after, in half an hour, I'm going to come back on stage and I have something that I want to announce to all of you here. So please stick around with me for another half hour. 
We're going to have some music. We're going to have the environment. There's still going to be food going around, drinks, and hopefully you guys get to network and enjoy and get to know each other a little bit more. And I'll get back on stage uh, with you very shortly to talk about what what's coming up. You, uh, you have some people around right now wearing shirts that say, um, somebody raised their hand back there. There's a big, big shirt, like, anybody wants to tell me what you think that means, right? Buy your book here. Buy your book here, right? Uh, something that I learned from Les Brown, language is important. Simplicity is important. That communicates. You know what you can get with this individual right here. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that right now, you can do that. I'm going to be around until the last person leaves. And I'll be signing books and hanging out with you tonight. And uh, it's a very special night. So I'm not planning on, Mr. Les Brown says, don't go on Uber. I'm not going anywhere yet. All right? <laughs> All right? Could, can we get a shot of you, Gabby, and Les, with the whole crowd behind you? I'm going to shoot you right here. Yeah, okay. yeah. Is it possible to buy your first book? You sign Les Brown signs. Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to stand right here for a second. We're going to do a picture before you guys.
All right, so I got the one and only, the legend, the man himself, Mr. Les Brown here, just for you guys on the stream. Les, what a great night. Yes, an incredible night, and I'm so excited. You know, I want to say, and I know you have questions to ask me, something that your father said that I want people to understand when they see the book and, and they see marketing magic and they say how I produce 7 billion views and 50 million social media followers and all of the other things there and the revenue that you generated. But one of the things that your father said that I think is very important if we all embrace this, create a business with a purpose. When you have a purpose, that narrows your choices. When you have a purpose, that holds yourself to a higher standard. You live a life that will outlive you. And this is what Mr. Frank Suarez has done and what his son is now further into the future, changing people's lives and also giving people the tools that they need to change their own lives. This is a very special night for me and my children I have them watching and tuned in because of the fact that all of us need to turn to each other rather than on each other in this climate where we are right now that's very disruptive yeah absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely so um, they're, they're saying that the sound is not really that clear is that is there an issue that we need to fix Okay, we're going to be right back. One second. They say it's better now. I don't know what happened, but they're saying it's, it's better. better now. All right, so we're back now here. Little audio technicality yes. difficulty. Life is full of disruptions, but it's okay. We'll move through it and continue to create something special for you. I don't think you've ever gone through technical difficulties in your 52-year career, right? Uh, oh, yes, I have. Look here, I, I spoke one time at an event and all the lights went out. It was in Washington, D.C. So I said to people in the audience, I said, don't move. I said, this is a special moment. I said, the f microphones are still working. I said, and sometimes in life, we must understand the scripture that says, we must work, walk by faith and not by sight. And I said, even though we can't see you, and I know y'all can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we gonna stay seated, and I'm gonna talk to you in the dark until you go out and create light with the things that I share with you. And people sat there and listened to me for 90 minutes and nobody moved. Wow. In the dark. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Thank you for a fantastic night. Thank you for a great speech, Les. Thank you. What inspired you about this book? What inspired me is something, as I mentioned earlier, that Einstein said that genius is the capacity to make the complicated simple. Anybody that gets this book, regardless if they're educated or not, the concepts, the information, the strategies, and that's very important, the strategies that you get on how you can operate your business, how you can stand out in your niche, because in niches there are riches, that it's in everyday language that everybody can apply in their lives and grow their businesses personally and professionally and their finances. And so that really got me and I'm, I'm getting it for all of my children and I'm encouraging people and my, my following on my Facebook where I have over 2 million people. I endorse this book 150%. And I guarantee you, if you not just read it, but if you apply it, one of the things about
Mr. Frank Suarez, he didn't believe in just writing books. He believed in providing service. He had a caring heart just as his son does. And when you care about your customers and when you're willing to create an experience for them that indicate that you're not treating them like a transaction, but you want to build a relationship, this book teaches you how to build relationships with your customers and how you can grow them and get referral business as well as repeat business. Amazing. Let's, I, I, there's a lot of questions that are probably going to come in. I mean, there's a lot of people in here right now, but I can tell you a very common question. There's right now hundreds of people in here. A very common question that people ask me when they see the amount of work that it takes, what you have done, for mm -hmm. example, yes. being on, on the stage for so long. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever counted how many stages, but I'm sure it's like you're looking at the thousands. I've spoken over 70 countries. 70 yes. countries yes. to millions of people, including 80,000 on the Georgia Dome and everything that you've done. For all intents and purposes, you don't exist. You're a unicorn. People like you are very rare. For those people that don't feel, because one thing that I really liked about, uh, that I heard from you was, you said, hardest thing to do in my life was believing that I could do it. Yes. The easiest thing was to make a million dollars. Yes. The hardest thing was to believe. How do you, I got super into your content and your mind because I know it's the missing element. And a lot of those elements, foundational elements are mm -hmm. in this book to get to get you the foundation to succeed how do you get somebody that says i really want to be successful but i feel i don't got what it takes you yourself figure that out what can you tell to somebody so it makes them at least go for it ladies and gentlemen this is why i encourage you to get this book there's a saying you can take a horse to the water but you can't make him drink However, you can create a thirst so that they want to drink. Your approach in this book and his father's approach was that in order to get people to do something, to create what I call want power, where they want more, that you have to identify with them, you have to relate to them, and you have to have a connection with them. And so what you've done and the way that you have written Marketing Magic is that you helped me to see that, hey, if Manuel can do this, I can do this too. And so if you're a speaker, if you're a coach, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're interested in, in being a voice of influence, it's very important that you speak in a way that people don't just hear you, but they feel you in their heart. When you have a heart-driven message, and even though when I watch your father's videos, I, I, I can't translate the, the message because it's in Spanish, but watching his body language, 95% of communication is nonverbal. But I can tell he cared about people and he was giving of himself. When you give of yourself, there's something that Maya Angelou said. She said, people don't care how much you know, but they do care how much you care about them and not just treating them like a transaction, but see them as people who are looking for ways in which they can be respected and valued. That's what you do. Those are the principles that your father built this business on. And as you continue to do this and your children and your children's children, you an example, not an exception of what all of us can do. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Les, do you think there's opportunity in this world still? In this oh, environment? Oh, without any question. <laughs> yeah, we're made in the likeness image of God. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Come on. And, and we've been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth. But most of us have come up in a culture where we're told more about our limitations rather than our potential. And this is a time, people like you, like Gabby and all the people that are here, that we begin to ask ourselves the question, what change must I make in my life so that I can do the thing that I was chosen to do? Life is God's gift to us and how we live our lives is our gift to God. Wow, wow, amazing. So here's something that I learned from you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much information a person gets. If they don't have the motivation, nothing happens with it. 
how do they get that fire lit up under themselves? They have to have a compelling reason. I'm adopted, as you are aware. What got me started, I promised my adopted mother, and always when I open my speeches, all that I am and all that I ever hope to be, I owe to my mother, that God took me out of my biological mother's womb and placed me in the heart of my adopted mother. And I said to her, Mama, what is it, Leslie? She's working on Miami Beach, and she used to work for wealthy families, and, and she cooked for them, and we ate the food left over when they got through and said, Mamie, you can pack up this food and take it home to those children that you have adopted. I said, Mama, when I become a man, I'm going to be able to buy groceries for us, and we won't have to wait around for the leftovers from the families that you work for. When I become a man, I'm going to take care of you. Hmm. And that drove me. Nietzsche said, if you know the why for living, you can endure almost anyhow. And that gave me the power. I didn't care about the rejections or the disappointments. I knew that I would fail my way to success, but I made a commitment to my mother, Mama, I'm going to buy your home. And I did that. I bought her four different homes before she passed at 89. And wow. so you have to find a compelling reason, something that that will cause you to burn the bridges, that turning around and going back is not an option, that it makes you unstoppable. Wow. Les, as we wrap up this moment for the people on the stream, you and I are very similar, or should I say that I'm very similar to you? Mm -hmm. Because you've been doing this for way longer than me. Mm -hmm. There's something that you said to describe the word legacy that just resonated, and I'm, and I'm taking it with me all the way mm -hmm. and you said what does legacy mean to live a life that outlives you yes can you tell me your thoughts on what a legacy really is all about you know the true impact of our lives is what goes on when we are gone there are people that when they die that nobody would remember and their names will not come up in conversations two weeks after their funeral when you live a life that will outlive you, you're talking about living a life that has impact. You're talking about a life that there are conversations that will be held. And say, so you remember Manuel? That's a bad dude. He taught me how to master my life. He taught me how to activate my faith. He taught me how to never be around negative people and to create new strategies on how I approach life. He taught me to expand my vision of what's possible. He included in his thinking and and what I should do is to continuously learn that if I want to make it, I've got to be willing to unlearn, learn and relearn. And because of that, that manual impact, I'm a different person. I was a bad dude. Up in here, up in here. <laughs> <laughs> the manual factor, that's what I just did. Don't come for me. I did not call an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amazing. Okay. There's, uh, we could spend here hours and hours and hours less, and um, I'm going to have to kidnap you again. And I know we're working on that. Yes. For... Uh, next next week and soon we have some big plans together yes why don't you tell the audience what we're going to be doing in this world for the rest of your life what we're going to be doing first of all is training other speakers there's no success without successors uh, teaching you how to tell your story to transform an audience individually and collectively how you can share with people how you turn your pain into purpose and how you can begin to live a life of contribution the other thing is that we're going to do is teaching you the techniques and strategies on how you can take your business, your ideas, and take it to the marketplace and make a greater impact and put your success on steroids. That's the power of marketing magic. It will help you to do that. And how to build a community of greatness, creating a bubble of collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships. That's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to jump on this giant's shoulders, try to give him as much value and power as I can because his information changes lives for real. Thank you for joining us during the stream. We're not done yet. In a, in a couple of minutes, in a few minutes, I'm going to be jumping back on stage. I have a special announcement and uh, we're going to toast together. We're going to celebrate this major, major accomplishment that is an, an accomplishment for all of us, not just for me. 
Uh, I am not the only one that created this product. I'm a product of my father and I'm a product of all the people around me. And uh, we want to celebrate together and hopefully this is the beginning of a journey for you also that you're here tuning in with us. All right? Yes. Les, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. Bye for now.
is going to personally autograph each book and don't care how long it takes, but he wants to say thank you and autograph each book so that you can have it. That's destined for the New York Times bestseller list. So let's organize. Who will help to orchestrate the organization? We're going to orchestrate that. that. So I, I, I think before we do that, um, I would like to get everybody's attention in the back. My yes. microphone is on. My microphone is on. I'm going to make sure that it's... It's on on my side. Jimmy, is there something that you got to do? No, my battery's working because I have an Ever Ready battery. Yep. Everybody on the back. Staff members, help me get attention from the back. Help me get attention from the back. This one is working and the other one is not. Staff members, everybody on the back, help me quiet down the people on the back and get me attention. I would appreciate it. Just a couple more minutes. That's it. I see people over here that... Um, are super entertained that's awesome i love it i love it um how do we get okay great i got your attention over there in the back attention grabbing media without attention we can't sell anything all right we need attention to survive and thrive we need attention to help people don't we Les? yes without attention we cannot change our lives we cannot now I wanted to take a quick moment over here. Uh, we're gonna do a toast in a second. And um, I don't know where the, I don't know if I got out of sequence here, but they were giving away little champagne glasses. Um, if we don't have them, we're gonna toast spiritually without them. Uh, before I do so, uh, I have a, a lot of uh, very important people in my life in this building. And I wanna take a moment to acknowledge them. Um, it's uh, just basically from my heart right now. Thank you, Les. I was going to ask you to sit down. This is very important to me. I first would like to get my family over here for me for a second. My kids, I got four of them. That's it, four of them. And I got a wife. And I want them to come over here with me for a second. Uh, while they come over here, uh, I, I want to tell you something very quickly about something that Les said on the stage today. Uh, do I need both microphones? Just to make sure, Jimmy, can I take this one out? So I'm gonna give this to Les. Okay. Yes, yeah. but but now the sound goes away. Yeah. Okay. My microphone is more motivated. It's more motivated. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right. So the um, something that Les said on the stage. He said, you know, all this thing that you see here. A lot of you know me for a very long time. I think it's coming in now. Yep, that's better. A lot of you know me for a very long time. Some of you know me since I, I was broke. And um, I mean, I, I remember being in uh, Ingrid's and Rob's house uh, and having them support me when I didn't really have anything at that point and just them opening up the doors to their house. I can tell stories endlessly of a lot of people that have been with me every step of the way. Uh, Les said something today uh, that, that really stuck with me and it's very important for all of you to know. He said, what my father told me, he said, you got to do something. The reason why I am here today, the reason why I have Les Brown here with me, the reason why I have this family here with me, the reason why I have this building, our company, our sister company on the side of this building called Natural Slam, um, the reason why I have all of you here, even partners of mine, where's uh, Steven Anderson from Honeycomb? He's somewhere, right? In the back, he's waving, right? So the reason why I have everything, the reason why I have this book, it's because my father called me one day after I had accomplished massive success helping him with our social media strategies and becoming a marketer and doing all the things that I had done with my purpose of helping him. I had one purpose. He was my giant. He was my hero. I wanted to serve him and I did it and I accidentally discovered my ability to be a marketer. And he called me one day and he said, son, too many people are asking me how I'm succeeding. And I don't have any other response but my son Manuel. And you don't have a way to help him. You got to do something. She's, yes. she's enjoying it, right? She's, she's taking the show. Yeah. She's, she's working on her stage. Yes. I lost the attention to her. Yes. All right? Yes. I lost it. Yes. You, you, know, you know, Les is, uh, Les is uh, yeah. he, he literally yes. has an event tomorrow. Yes. I want, yes. He said. Mr. Suarez, listen, Manuel, you got to do something. And all of us, as we look at our lives, that most people, when things happen to them, many people choke. 
I've done that. How many have ever choked and got paralyzed? And you paid more attention to the distraction rather than your deciding, I've got to do something. That's something that Mary McLeod Bethune said out of Florida. She said, pray as if everything depends upon God, but work as if everything depends upon you. And all of us have had some setbacks. All of us have gone through some stuff. But we got to a point where we said to ourselves, I've got to do something. This is not going to define me. This will refine me. And I'm going to move forward through it. That life knocks you down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. There you go. Come on, now. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. So a lot of special moments drove me to this day today. A lot of special moments, and I have a lot of special people here. Uh, I would like to get um, for a second. First of all, I want to uh, thank my family, my kids. Uh, if you open up the book, you're going to see that my initial inspiration to succeed was born with these four amazing kids and with my wife. And there's something that Les said the other day. I've been with him for four days. It's like, I feel like I have to write a book just from my last four days with less. It's been something, all right? So he said to me something about, there's people around you that believe in you before you believe in yourself. That's my wife right there. Uh, yeah. uh, my entire uh, family of uh, our in incredible team of Natural Slim, uh, raise your hand, all of you, international staff, Orjito, you're here behind the camera. The legacy of uh, my father, they're raising their hand over here. Uh, I wouldn't be here without them. I love you. My sister, my stepmom, you are my initial inspiration. Tamara, you remember when I started helping you? That you were like, this, this guy is intense. And I started shaking the world and, uh, and I discovered my abilities thanks to uh, being on this team. I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, my mother over here, she's in the back. Raise your hand, my mother, Dali. <laughs> wouldn't be here impacting the lives of people if she wouldn't have uh, given, me, given birth to me uh, 42 years ago uh, and battling for this family for a long time. Uh, my partner is at Attention Growing Media. Raise your hand, where are you at? Yeah. Been with me every step of the way. You all made this happen, uh, and again, uh, what Les Brown has said uh, to me over the last few days is for me something that stands out. Right now, after all the success that I've accomplished, which I am a product of my team around me, you're gonna find a lot about that in the book. One of the lessons that I learned from my father is that there's nothing more valuable, nothing, than your team. And I, I believed in that when I learned that, and I, and I built a team, and my father's entire team is intact, and they're all here from Puerto Rico, because they were the ones that created this success. Uh, I am just backing the team up and creating uh, what I best can from my side. And I have a mission now uh, with this book to help as many people as possible also set themselves on that path. Uh, Les and I are not supposed to be here, he did not graduate from college. I did not graduate from college. We did not have approval from the systems. We are a minority. Uh, when Les was uh, speaking on stage, they said that he was, uh, he said himself, there was no African American people talking in the world of, uh, of spe public speaking. He called himself a raising in a jar of milk. <laughs> And now he goes to stages in which one third of the speaker lineups are African American. He's the one that created that movement. He's the one that made them believe. And I'm doing that now for the Latin American population. I'm making them understand their potential. I'm helping them on their way and I'm hoping to help a lot of you also along the way understand your potential and travel on a similar path. Because if I'm here, I'm living on bonus time and I wanna create an impact and I wanna help you also create an impact and accomplish your dreams and goals. And that drives me more than any other thing but I could I'll possibly do. To share with them what I said, I'm going to leverage my name, my reputation, and the years I've been into this industry for the Spanish-speaking community around this world because we all need motivation and hope and messengers that will help us to achieve peace, 
harmony, and joy. And so I'm here for you and whatever we can do for those of you. How many of you have a book and you raise your hands, please? Well, because you're here, make sure you share and, and sign the guest book because our goal is to, I have two million people on my Facebook, so I'd love to do an interview with you to promote your book. You have come here to support my spiritual son. And so I said, look at here, I'm going to hook you up. <laughs> Les has a show tomorrow. He has an event called Take the Mic. Yeah, she, master the mic. Master, yeah, master, master the, the mic. mic. Yeah. She's ready to master the mic. Yeah. She's ready. Yeah. She's got it in her. So it's a magical night celebrating the launch of the Marketing Magic book. Uh, very special night. That's why I love that word. Uh, when you get surrounded by the right people, magical things happen. And uh, you're going to see a lot of that magic in that book. I surrounded myself with great people. A lot of those people are on that wall. A lot of the people are in this room, the giant that was my original source of inspiration when it comes to uh, marketing, the one that made me become who I am today in this world, he's on that big wall right there with a uh, plaque dedicated to him. And when you open up the book, it's also a book dedicated to him. And I am striving now, I'm seeing it. My father's content in social media is taking off like never before. And we are reaching many millions of people. He passed away almost three years ago today. And we're still producing about 50 million views every single month of our content. And that's motivational and inspirational. And like Les Brown says, Les Brown the Great. Raise your hand if you know Les Brown. Yes. All right, now you do, huh? All right. <laughs> It's time for you to sign the books. It's time for you to sign. Live a life that will outlive you. One final acknowledgement that I could not, uh, for, uh, I cannot leave uh, out. There's three people that uh, made this book possible, aside from all the people that helped me create it. Uh, and these three people um, are very important, and I have to mention them. One of those persons is Artie Marin. Is Artie here? Artie's not here. Okay, you'll see the recording. Uh, he, he made this book what it is today. He saw me and he said, Manu, I'm not going to let you publish that book. And, uh, and he helped me make it into what it is right now. And he was essential to what this book is. My sister, Nicole. Nicole, stand up for a second. Ooh. Officially my most underpaid staff ever. She took this book and she created the artwork and the design and she made something beautiful that you guys all see in that cover. It is her product and her creativity. And um, last but not least, thank you, Nico. And last but not least, uh, Jules Dermont. She's one of my superstars in this company. She's in Africa right now, so she's also going to see this recording. She's my book editor. She took this to a whole different level. She restructured the entire book, and she made it what it is today. Uh, I do have a special mention to Karen Nelson Bell, that I think she's here. She was the one that inspired the name of the book. She's in the back over there. She came up with the name of the book, and I stuck with it. And then she helped me with the initial structure of this book. So again, thank you guys for being here. We're going to go ahead and now, hopefully, you guys all have books in your hands. Once you walk out, signing a book becomes $10,000. For now, <laughs> it's free. Take advantage. I'm going to be here until all of you guys have your signed copy. Mr. Les Brown, one more hand for Mr. Brown. I love you. I love it too. Amazing.
And welcome back. I'm back here. What's up, guys? How did you guys like that so far? Ooh. I see Fernando on there still. Thank you for being here. Some of you guys have been on here since the beginning. Thank you. I'm going to look through some of these um, questions or comments that you guys had. Uh, I know you liked the tour I did. Some of you did. <laughs> that was awesome. That was cool, huh? Okay, so how about Mr. Mr. Les Brown? I told you guys he was going to deliver. Um, you know, one thing that um, you, you guys saw the whole thing with the audio, you know, throwing us off here and there, right? But one thing that we wanted to mention, I don't think that we got a chance to, and that is what's happening tomorrow. And that is our um, webinar that we've also been um uh, getting worked out for over the last couple of weeks. We've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes on that. So that's going to be tomorrow. If you haven't registered for that, it's marketingmagicwebinar.com. Marketingmagicwebinar.com. Very easy to get to. Marketingmagicwebinar.com. There you go. Rain just posted the um, the link here in the comments. <clears throat> Somebody's asking, can I buy a book with Zell and have it signed tonight? Ooh, okay. Well, your name is iPhone. So, uh <laughs> Do I know you? Um, I can probably hook you up with that. You know, we weren't planning on that, but um, are, are you local? You can come pick it up later, or are you going to need some? Uh, you going to need some shipping, or what? So let me let me know in here in the comments. So, yes, Les Brown, he was amazing, wasn't he? Man, he knows. Uh, he's just such a master with his words and his emotion and delivery. Of course, right? He's uh, been doing this for so long. And um, I've actually been hanging out with him as well. And he's been giving me some tips on how to craft and deliver your story. Uh, let's see. Somebody says, any idea when the audio version will be available? Listen, Michael, get into marketingmagicwebinar.com. Register and join us tomorrow. You're going to learn all about the audio version of the book. Um, but to answer your question, it is coming. It's just that we have a surprise on the webinar. So if you want to join that, uh, you know what? If you join, if you register, I will send you the first two chapters of the audiobook. All right. So, any of you guys here that have not joined yet, ha have not registered for the webinar, marketingmagicwebinar.com. Once again, I will send you guys the first two chapters of the audiobook. All right. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, Somebody saying that they missed a QR code. What was that all about? Uh, we had a QR code while you guys were waiting for me to come on. And uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the one I, I told them to put up for the marketingmagicwebinar.com. That's happening tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, I want you guys to join on that webinar so you can find out. First of all, Manuel's going to go over, you see how this book right here says, how I produce 7 billion views, 50 million social media followers, and 250 million in yearly revenue without paid advertising. If you add that, forget about it. The point is, he's going to go over in detail his blueprint of what he talks about in this book. So it's... it's it's next level. I mean, you guys are going to get the book, I'm sure, right? And you're going to read all about it. You're going to read the stories. Um, but he's going to dive deep into all the chapters and all the, you know, all the stories that he has in there. He's going to expand on it. So you don't want to miss it. Brett says that he's registered for tomorrow. All right, Brett, I'm going to see you there. I'm going to log in. I'm going to look for you. Uh, Ernest, I just ordered the book from Amazon. There you go, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so, by the way, that's that book is available in Kindle, and now the um, the hardback or the paper, yeah, hardback uh, is available also on Amazon on Prime. So, you guys will get it in the next couple of days if you order on Amazon right now. Um, Rain, why don't you go ahead and just help them uh, drop the link in here for the Amazon for the Marketing Magic Webinar? Anyways, you can always just search Amazon, uh, search you know Manuel. Suarez marketing magic book and that'll come up 100% but rain just gave you guys the link right here all right uh michael already registered for the webinar and he purchased the kindle thank you so much man hey can i get you guys to uh remember please leave a review on amazon it's going to really help us okay uh there's a lot of people that are about to start seeing this now i mean we we were we've been doing a pre-launch but today it actually officially launches right 
and we're doing what we're what we say in this book now okay as of tomorrow we're gonna go crazy and send everybody there and of course i need your guys's help to give me some reviews so that when people land there um you know we need the social proof you know how it is okay what about amazon uk uh we don't have it on amazon uk but you can get into the link that uh range is posted here which is a regular amazon and we will ship it to you over there i know uh you probably have to pay a little bit extra but that's this that's what we have right now or you can uh get the audiobook very soon or you can get the kindle version all right uh there you go rain just posted the link again hey rain is that is that a different link for the amazon uk or do they use the same one us us so that's right so it's like i said just use that link you we will ship it out to you um we will have extra offers and solutions if you really want to help us spread the message about this book join the webinar tomorrow marketingmagicwebinar.com and we will let you guys know how you can participate with manuel to help us spread the word about this book and he wants to um, help you guys for that. He wants to reward you guys for that is what I meant. And uh, by, by the way, I don't know if you guys knew, but we also have this in Spanish. La magia del marketing. We also have this in Spanish. And, and um, now with ChatGPT, we're basically about to translate everything into 29 different languages, by the way. All right. So somebody says, awesome experience. Thank you, Mauricio. I'm glad you liked it um let's see oh the person that commented uh buy a book with zell and have uh, manuel sign it again uh i don't know who you are so you, uh, it comes up as iphone here so why don't you type it in here and um let me see how can i get it done for you so i'm all about solutions so you know one of our core values at agm is fio figure it out Manuel talks about the AGM core values in this book, by the way. FIO, figure it out. So I'll figure it out for you, but I need to know your name, okay? Um, mañana. Okay, let's see, let's see. Register for the webinar. There's the link, okay? Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. What else we got here? Oh, somebody's asking about the virtual guest book. Do we have that? I don't think we do, huh? <laughs> I think we might have. Uh, I, I think uh, you're talking about um, Les Brown mentioned something about a guest book for signing it. But I think what he meant was to sign this book here. So the people that are here, you know, anybody that's going to buy it, they're actually going to get it signed. Again, I don't know, iPhone, who you are, what's your name? I was, uh, <laughs> I will hook you up and get it signed, but you got to let me know. Okay, uh, set up a link so we can buy and have it signed and shipped for tomorrow's webinar. Yeah, I don't have that, Cody. It's too last minute, man. I'm sorry. I don't even have the office here set up. Uh, <laughs> uh, but join the webinar tomorrow, marketingmagicwebinar.com. All right, I will see you guys on that webinar. I will be there, marketingmagicwebinar.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for uh, sharing the experience with us today. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the webinar.